a number of people have asked me how I set up my wireless gate so far away from my transmitter. And here's my transmitter. And let's drive all the way down to the gate. The gate is already open when we get down there, and that's because of the uh, IFPPT location service. Alexa, trigger front gate. So what does it take to get this to happen? It's basically not too expensive, but you're going to need a few things. A property with a gate, a TP-Link CPE or like devices, a ring doorbell or like device, an is smart gate, light gate, or something like it, and then of course a solar panel setup. There's a few other little minor components here and there, but we'll cover those in the uh, description below. So if you're like me, you always wonder, where do I start and what do I do first? For me, that started with trying to get the Wi-Fi the 300 yards-ish down to my gate. Uh, and how to do it without power, uh, because I didn't want to try to run, you know, Romex or whatever all the way down there just for this. So I picked the TP-Link PBE 210 uh, because of the price and because it only draws about one amp an hour. We're going to go from the TP link down to there's the controller for the gate, and there's the box I added. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in the box. We'll go over that in a bit, and we're not going to cover solar because smarter people will do that on other videos. Now, one thing you're going to see is that uh, the TP link is power over Ethernet. That's easily handled by this injector. Costs eight bucks or less on Amazon. The uh, other thing you'll see in the box is the step down regulator. It brings it down from the 13, 14 volt to five. This powers the is smart gate. One of the things you're gonna see in the box is the solar charge controller. And then the only other thing is the battery. I recommend going to hack my solar by Sean Mills. He has great videos on how to set this stuff up. Once you're back from his videos, you'll see that it's pretty much just wiring all this together. And then now you have power and you have Wi-Fi down at your pole. Um, and so you just start adding stuff. You wire in your smart gate. And I have it hidden in the box there. And we go over to the ring and you set it up like normal. And voila, everything works. Uh, I connected mine through, like I said, IFETT or whatever that is. And then also use Alexa so I can tell her how to open and close it. One of the nice things about this setup, if you believe TP-Link, is you should be able to do this up to five kilometers away from your main source. So I have two of these TPEs, each pointing towards each other to talk to each other, just to make sure the wireless is strong enough for all the devices. Uh, not sure if you need it or not, but that should make it to where you can do it up to five kilometers away. Uh, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or if you ha have any suggestions on how I can make this better, I'm all ears. Y'all have a great day.